If you don't have a cashback card, you are potentially leaving hundreds to even thousands of dollars on the table. And today we're going to be talking about Plutus, which gives you an option to get cash back or plu back in Pluton, the native token of Plutus. And we're going to be talking about that here in a second. So by the way, Plutus actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to make a video. I gladly accepted and said yes, considering I've been making, I've already made two videos now on Plutus. So today I'm going to be talking about all of the recent developments. We're going to be going over that, some of the recent features. We're going to be comparing uh, the new also perks and different things like that and different tiers that they've added. And we're going to talk about the roadmap, where the company's headed. And then we're also going to compare Plutus right now to other uh, crypto debit card providers as well and just see what the best option is. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. And also at any point in this video, if you want to sign up for Plutus, make sure to use the link down in the description below where you guys will receive a free amount of Plu when you sign up with that exclusive link. And then from there, you can actually get amazing perks and rewards. And we're going to be talking about that in a second. So first things first, I want to talk about this is that eight months ago, when I made my first video about Plutus, back then there was actually only 11,000 holders. Then three months ago, when I made that video about Plutus, from there, uh, there was actually the close to 13,000 holders. Right now, there is over 15,000 holders. So this number is continuing to actually increase. And you can just see this in every single video I make. I love to talk about this feature. And I'm expecting this number to continue to go up with also the expected launch of the US. So they're actually planning, Plutus is planning to launch to Americans in the future. And this is going to be a big feature as well. And also just a really bullish thing in my opinion. Okay, so real quick, let's talk about Plutus. So first of all, what is Plutus? Well, Plutus basically uh, is a bank-like app, okay? And now they can't say bank because they aren't, but they have to use the word bank-like. So. Basically, they have a lot of bank-like features. And with that, you can spend in fiat and earn between 3 to 8% of the purchase value back in Pluton or Plu, which is the native token. It's also an ERC-20 token, uh, so it's on the Ethereum blockchain. With that, customers can also enjoy up to 10 euros or pounds back in Pluton at 35 plus in-demand perks. So for example, PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, Airbnb, Amazon, there's a bunch of really cool perks. So what makes Plutus unique? Well, you can earn rewards between three to 8% uh, back. Also, there are perks. There is a non-custodial wallet. There's also a DEX, which hasn't been fully re-released yet, but it's they're planning on re-releasing that soon. So what is Pluton? So Pluton is basically the native utility token. So what can you do with Plu? Plu can be utilized in a number of ways. So users who own Plu can, well, first of all, unlock higher reward levels, which we're going to talk about in a second. So you can basically increase uh, your reward rate. So with that, you can go from 3% all the way up to 8% by stacking Plu. And you can also unlock more perks. Okay, so there are different reward levels, which will dictate the amount of cash back or Plu back that you can earn. So these are the levels that are going to be introduced very soon. So we have Researcher, which is 25 Plu. With that, you can get 3% Plu back, and that is with a plus 250 limit. Then there's Explorer, Adventurer, all of those are at 3%. Uh, but they allow you to spend a different amount. And with that, you can earn more on that. And then, for example, Adventurer, you can get one perk. And then there is the Classic. So we have Hero, which you basically have to hold 325 Plu. Veteran at 650. And then from that, you get 5% back. Uh, we also have Legend and Goat. And so, yeah, with each of these, you can earn different rewards. You can also spend more and earn more on that spend. And then you also get different perks out of that. So you get more as the more you hold, basically. So then when it comes to tokenomics, there are uh, 20 million, it's a fixed supply, limited supply, 20 million PLU tokens, which, as I said earlier, ERC-20. And it's tradable on Coinbase, actually, and KuCoin, and a couple others as well. Or if you wanted to, you could trade it on Uniswap as well. So just using a DEX. But it, I think it's also really good um, for them to be listed on Coinbase as that's a hard listing to be listed on. Then when it comes to the roadmap, the next 12 months are packed with announcements and also product releases. But now the better feature is that you get instant top-ups so you can immediately send funds to your Plutus account and then 
you pretty much have it instantly and you can spend it right then and there. So that's a really cool feature that they've had. Also, the app, I think, is a lot better than what it previously was. I think um, they've always introduced new features to just make it better and better, pretty much. So there is the new reward levels, which I actually just mentioned, the adventure, et cetera, et cetera. The, there's those three more reward levels. Basically, they want uh, more people to be holding, which we're going to talk about the um, you know difficulty adjustment here in a second, which I talked about previously before. Then there's also the Plutus swap. Uh, metal cards, uh, brand refresh, and then the big one, US launch. So I'm really excited about that. I think that'll be definitely a bullish point for Plutus. So then when it comes to fees and also the plans, you know, there's a couple of different ones right now. And I also just have to say this is that this is subject to change, of course. So, you know, right now the everyday is at five euros a month. And the premium is at 15 euros a month. But again, this is subject to change. So right now, let's go over a hypothetical scenario. So if you have the everyday plan at 5 euros a month, you instantly get 3% in crypto rewards, so in Plu. And you, you can earn that 3% on up to 2,000 euros a month. You can actually spend more than that, but you're not going to earn rewards. And we'll go over that in a second. And then with that, you also get two perks. So this is a really good deal. You can actually make a decent amount of money doing this, and it's really not bad. But they are, again, like I said earlier, they're introducing those new staking levels as they want people to be holding more PLU, which I think is you know something they probably are going to continue to introduce into the future. Now, with that being said, if you have the everyday plan and you also have the hero, so you're holding 325 PLU or st stacking, I wanted to say staking, but it's stacking, uh, then you are getting 4% in rewards or cash back, plu back, and then you're also getting four perks. So basically you're not adding the two perks here to the four. What you are doing is basically making it so instead of two perks, you have four perks, and instead of 3%, you have 4%, if that makes any sense. So that's just a hypothetical scenario of like one of the plans. So when it comes to me personally, I am grandfathered into the veteran plan. And so with that, I am getting 5% in rewards and also five perks as well. So, you know, currently I have 684 stacked and then, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm holding around 4,000 euros worth. And I feel like every single video, I just, I always have more and more that I'm, I'm stacking. But with that being said, here are my perks that I've been just using so far. And again, this difficulty adjustment is going to change in 11 days, which we're going to talk about here in a second. And then when it comes to my spending, I'm actually earning the maxed out. So I have the everyday plan and I've already spent over 2000 euros this month. So I can't even earn any more rewards on top of that. So, uh, yeah, then when it comes to the difficulty adjustment, which I said earlier, they actually announced something. So, you know, as I said in my previous video, they're going to be making all of these difficulty adjustments. It's going to be harder and harder. Well, a lot of people actually got mad about this. And one of the coolest things about Plutus is that they listen to the community. This is just from the Medium post from Plutus. So although the data suggests that the difficulty adjustment has had a positive impact on reward level upgrades, it has also shown to be discouraging for some user segments who have been accumulating their earned Plu. Upon review, Plutus will be indefinitely pausing the difficulty adjustment after the upcoming Q4 adjustment. Guided by feedback from our community, this approach not only safeguards the interests of those who earn and stack Plu, but also supports a healthy ecosystem. So here is the current. So if people have these right now, these plans right now, so Hero at 325, Veteran at 650, Legend at 1300 Plu, Goat at 2600 Plu. So if you have these right now, then you're going to be grandfathered in to the Q4. So the Q4, this is going to change, you know, a decent amount. You're going to have to have more in order to reach these specific levels. So basically what they're saying is they are going to have a difficulty adjustment up to this level. So for in my case, if I wanted to have the veteran status, I would have to have 800, but I'm already grandfathered in at 650. So I'm good. I don't, you know, I'm already grandfathered in. I don't have to worry about getting more. But with that being said, um, this is going to be their last change indefinitely for at least some time for the foreseeable future. Uh, so these are going to be the current levels very soon. And as of August 7th of 2023, we unveiled new reward levels. So researcher, explorer, 
and Adventure. So these tiers feature reduced plu requirements, aiding users in the initial phases of their rewards journey. So they're really trying to push people in the direction of stacking plu. And why is that? Well, because apparently 95.1% of users are actually not on a reward level at all. Only close to 5% use a reward level. So I'm apparently I'm in the 5% here, but yeah, most people don't even use a reward level, but they're pretty much gonna start making that requirements for the future. So just something to think about. Now, when it comes to some social stats, which I think is pretty cool, when it comes to their, the subreddit, uh, Plutus, uh, actually since April of 2022, there was only 1500 users, or sorry, 1600. And that number has gone up a lot to around 8,600 currently. And so the, you know, at least the social engagement has been increasing. That's a good sign. And then when it comes to the physical card, they actually got rid of this. So this was the Solaris. This is, you know, it doesn't even work anymore. And they pretty much changed this to another one. I believe it's called modular. This is like their banking system that they're using uh, for top ups and I actually really like it. It's instant. And right now they don't even have a physical card. To be honest, I don't even care. I know a lot of people do, but personally, I didn't care previously. I never used it and I never will use a physical card. But with that said, uh, they're planning to release the physical card and the virtual card, I believe right now doesn't work with Google Pay or Apple Pay. But if you use the virtual card to your Curve card, then you can add that to Apple Pay and you won't have any issues. And that's what I've been doing. And I've had absolutely no issues using Apple Pay. Now let's compare it to other cards on the market right now. So what could you be using? Well, there is the Bybit card, but what are the rewards that you get with the Bybit card? Well, they don't even list it on their website at all. They basically just say that, you know, you can earn exclusive loyalty rewards, but they don't say the exact amount. So Bybit card, no. I don't really see the point of it. KuCoin, they've announced that they've had a card coming soon for close to two years. They've actually had this landing page now and they've never released the card, so can't use that. Next, let's talk about crypto.com. So as you guys know, crypto.com, uh, you know, their card was one of their best marketing tactics to get people on board. And well, they pretty much removed a lot of the rewards or at least made it a lot more difficult. If you want to talk about difficulty adjustment, just look at crypto.com because they are the meaning of difficulty adjustment when it comes to their rewards, right? So uh, let's go over some rates. So for example, personally, I have 5% uh, back on Plutus and I have around 4,000 in Plu right now. In order to get the same amount on crypto.com, I would have to lock up 350 thousand euros so i'd pretty much have to lock up a house on crypto.com in order to get five percent cash back so i just i don't see the point of that i don't i don't do you guys see the point of that please comment down below if you do uh then for example if you just want to have three percent which on plutus right now you don't even have to lock anything up uh, or stack anything with crypto.com you have to lock thirty five thousand and by the way, you have to lock for a specific amount of time to do that. Um, so you have to lock 35,000 euros worth of CRO. And from there, then you can get a 3% cash back or, you know, 3,500 euros to get 2%. And you, you, there's a monthly CRO rewards cap of only $50 with that. And you only, you're, you're only getting a few perks as well. So I don't really see the point of using the crypto.com card. I mean, maybe in the future when the market's doing a lot better, maybe they're going to, you know, allow their rates to come back up and also allow the locking uh, to be much lower. But let me know what you guys have to think about that. So I don't know about that one. Then when it comes to BNB, okay, the BNB card, if you guys didn't know, Binance has a card. And with that, uh, in order to get, for example, you know, what I, uh, let's just say a 4% cash back. So if you want to get 4% cash back in BNB with their card, what do you have to do? Well, you have to have a monthly average balance of 40 BNB. What is 40 BNB? You might ask 40 BNB is $8,600. Well, not bad, right? You get 4% cash back. Well, with that, you actually only have a monthly cash back of up to $200 uh, dollars worth. 
So that's pretty much you're capped at that. And you have to lock, you have to have around 8,600 uh, BNB on average, you know, to have that. So I don't really see that as a great option as well. I'm bullish on Binance and stuff. And I, you know, I, I, I like Binance, but uh, I don't really think their card is, is their strongest suit. So it's not something that I would use either. Then, you know, is there the Coinbase card? Well, right now they, you know, previously they actually had a 4% cash back. They don't list that anymore on their website. And I was doing a little bit of digging and they don't have that amount anymore. I believe it's around one to 2% cash back. And I even logged into coinbase.com and I even tried to apply for the card and they don't list the reward levels at all on the website or even when you're applying for it. So I don't really see this as a good option or solution right now either. Now, let's go over the price point of Plu. So right now it's at $6.52. So, you know, everything right now is pretty much taking a beating. You know, I think in the past few years, everything has gone down quite a lot, right? It's been, you know, kind of, we've had a lot of bearish conditions here, but Plu has actually been doing really well considering that from, you know, 2020, right? So three, you know, roughly three years ago, uh, price, price was trading at $2.00. Right now it's trading at $6.52. So it's still looking really good when you're actually zooming out of the chart. You know, of course the recent period hasn't been that bullish, but neither has the entire market as a whole. So yeah. So let me know what you guys have to think about Plutus in the comments down below. I think it's a great crypto debit card solution for people to be using right now, especially in the European economic area and hopefully for the Americans in the US soon. So if you guys wanna sign up and also instantly get some Plu right now for free, make sure to sign up with the link in the description below and then you guys will get an exclusive offer. With that being said, if you guys like the video, do me a favor by minting me a subscription down below. My name is Trevor and I'll see you guys in the next video.